Welcome to Color Up. Today we're going to talk about the five very best bets in the game of craps. Now this list is based off of the mathematical house edge. So first we need to describe what the house edge is. Let's get to it. So what's the house edge? It's the percent the casino keeps when paying a winning bet. The casino doesn't pay fairly. They keep a percentage for operating the game. Let's take a look at the 12. If you know the probability, there is a 1 in 36 chance that the 12 will roll. A fair bet would pay $36 for a $1 bet. But casinos don't pay fair, so if you do win, they only pay you $30 instead of $36. That percentage that they keep is called the house edge or expected value. They know over time they can expect to keep that percentage. Now some would say you should always make the lowest house edge bets. But this doesn't guarantee a win, but it does, however, guarantee a smaller loss over a long period of time versus bets with a higher house edge. My thought on this is we don't really play over a long period of time compared to the casino, which sees 10,000 rolls a week on a table. You might not see 10,000 rolls in your lifetime of playing. Long term, you just can't beat the casino when they take a percentage out of every single winning payout. We are gambling that we can overcome the percentage the casino takes by rolling our numbers more than probability dictates. Good news is we can do this in the short term, a day, weekend, maybe even a good week. Long term though, you can't expect to beat the math, which is in the casino's favor. So is a lower house edge bet always the best bet? So which is the better bet? A pass line with a 1.4% house edge, or the 12 with a nearly 14% house edge. Now my layout actually plays 29 to 1, so it's a 17% house edge. Yikes, pretty terrible bet if you consider the house edge. What if I told you the 12 will roll on the next roll? This is the better bet. I get paid $30 and actually lose on the pass line. What if the 12 doesn't show up until the fifth roll? This is still the better bet, right? Whatever may have happened to the pass line bet, let's say maybe even it did hit its point and got paid one to one. Here, I would have had to replace it five times or invested $5, but I won back $30. So which is the better bet? Now you really are trying to beat the math in this instance. Certainly you can get lucky, but as a general rule, stick to the low house edge bets and you should do better. All right, on with the list. Number five, buy or lay the four or 10. If you place the 4 or 10, the house edge is 6.7%. They pay you 9 to 5 if the number rolls before the 7 shows up. But if you buy the 4 or 10, you get paid 2 to 1 minus 5% commission. A $20 buy bet wins $40 minus 5% or $1 for a net win of $39. The key is to find a casino that takes the 5% VIG only if you win. In this case, the house edge is 1.7%. If the casino takes the VIG up front, they would ask you for $21 to make this $20 buy bet, and the house edge would then increase to about 5%. Now, a lay bet on the 4 or 10 is just the opposite. You are betting that the 7 rolls before the number. In this case, a $40 bet wins $20, minus a 5% commission or $1 for a net win of $19. It's more rare to find casinos that take the VIG only on the win for lay bets, but the house edge is the same 1.7%. If they take the VIG up front and ask for $41, it's not terrible at 2.4%, but wouldn't crack our list of top five bets. So if you buy or lay the four or 10 and the VIG is collected only on a win, the house edge is 1.67. Number four, place bets on the six and eight. This is a simple bet. You are betting that the six or the eight will roll before the seven. You should always make this bet in increments of $6. The payoff is seven to six. $6 bet wins seven, $12 bet wins 14, $18 bet wins 21, and so on. The casino takes a small cut out of this bet. A place bet on the six or eight has a house edge of 1.52%. Number three, the pass line or the come bet. Now the come bet can be confusing to some new players. It's essentially the same bet as the pass line, but you can make it in the middle of the game when the puck is already on. For the first roll, the pass line wins with a seven or 11. It loses on a two, three, or 12. If any other number is rolled, that becomes the point. 
Now the pass line wins if you roll the point before the number seven. This is the most basic bet in craps and has a low house edge of 1.41%. Number two, the don't pass or the don't come. Again, these are essentially the same bet. For the first roll, the don't pass wins with a two or three, the 12 is barred or it's a push, and you lose on a seven or 11. If any other number is rolled, that becomes the point. Now the don't pass wins if a seven is rolled before the point number. The house edge on the don't pass or don't come is 1.4%. The difference between the pass and the don't pass is one one hundredth of a percentage. What this means is for every $100 you bet, you're expected to lose $1.41 on the pass line and $1.40 on the don't pass. We're talking about one penny difference for every $100 bet, but the don't pass is mathematically a better bet at 1.4%. Number one, the best bet on the craps table or the whole casino for that matter, the true odds bet. Sometimes you might hear this bet referred to as free odds, but it is not free. You have to have a line bet first, which does carry a house edge. The odds bet is a secondary or additional bet that is paid at true odds, meaning the casino pays this bet fair and doesn't take a percentage from the payoff. When you add an odds bet to the pass or the come, it's called taking odds. When you are adding odds to the don't pass or don't come, it's called laying odds. That's because you are laying out more money to win back less in this instance, but it's still paid at true fair odds. I'll link to some videos that explain the odds bet in more detail. This payout without collecting a percentage means the house edge on the odds bet is 0%. The great thing about the odds bet is it lowers the overall house edge on the two combined bets. Let's assume we take single odds meaning the odds bet is the same as the line bet. The combined house edge of 1.41% and 0% means we have a bet of $20 at a 0.8% house edge. If you bet 10 times in odds, meaning your odds bet is 10 times what the line bet is, the house edge drops to 0.2%. Now the thing to remember is that's combined. No matter how much you take or lay in odds, you're expected to lose 1.4% of the initial line bet. Now I get a lot of grief in some of my videos because I don't always take the odds bet. So let me clarify. If you would like to increase your bet and your bankroll can withstand larger swings, the odds bet is the very best way to play. If you don't have the bankroll to bet higher amounts, the line amount without odds is still a great bet. Whether you take no additional odds or take 100 times on your bet, your expected loss is exactly the same, 1.4% of whatever the line bet is. There you go, the mathematically best five bets in the game of craps. Now, if you stick to these five bets, will you always win? No. Will you likely make out better than the players making all the other high house edge bets? Most likely, but not always. After all, it's still a gamble. It just depends how the dice tumble. Well, however you like to play, until next time, good luck on coloring up.